Uh, hey, hey, Grub Gun here. Look at this. I'm back. And uh, I'm in the back of the van. The van. My house. Uh, still, of course, it work in progress. I've taken the seats out. As you can see, look at this. I'm sitting right in the back here. Holy fuck, it's sunny out. I'm gonna sit there. So I'm in the back of the van. I've managed to... What the fuck's going on there? I've managed to fucking haul the seats out of the back and there's lots of room. Five feet at the doors. It goes to four feet where I'm sitting. Gets a little wider out by the back there, but five feet max this way. So I'm gonna have to sleep end to end in the old beast here. Um, I haven't quite decided how to work this thing yet. Like, I think what I'll do is I'll put a bed over on this side and leave myself a little strip of space over here. Now I'd like to have the bed be up off the ground so that um, so that I can have storage underneath it basically. Uh, th I'm not gonna have a lot of shit but any shit that I want isn't gonna fit in these little side fucking things or under the seats or whatever. There's storage under the front passenger seat that locks which is good. Um, but, you know, probably, what the fuck am I going to keep in there anyway? Um, yeah, so, it was fucking hard work getting the seats out. They, uh, I don't think they've ever been taken out before, to be honest, because I had to fucking haul the little removal bar underneath. Pretty good to get the fucking things out, but, um... There's a little detail work that I got to do here and there where I got to, like, fucking clean shit off and, you know, where whoever the fucking kids were in the back of this thing spilt their fucking Slurpee or whatever they were drinking. Um, and, uh, there's a tail light out. I got to fix a tail light. Um, there's a couple other niggly things, like one of these two lights is out back here. I don't know which one. One of the two. Uh, it's just a fucking light bulb. I'll probably change the inside bulbs to LED so that if I ever wanted to use them, I could turn them on and not worry about it draining the battery. So LED bulbs for the inside of the truck, uh, they're really cheap. Uh, I go on fucking Amazon and buy them. But yeah, like I haven't kind of figured out, you know, I don't... Having just started, I don't really have any big plans of, like, where to buy shit and, like, do I want to chuck an air mattress on the ground or do I want to, you know, like, all of that stuff I've yet to even consider. Because it's just, it's a lot of work fucking figuring out, like, how you're going to move yourself into the back of a fucking vehicle after your whole life of living in a house. But, like, I sat out here earlier when I was measuring it up and uh measuring it up you know what i'm saying no um uh when i was measuring the van up and i was sitting out here and i sat out here for like 20 minutes or a half an hour and people were walking by they didn't know i was fucking in here because the back windows are tinted so and it was just neat like everywhere around me is a window and like i can see outside and it's like <laughs> it's like it's like being in a fucking tent well I don't know I've never been in a tent it's like just it's weird it's like outside is inside as well so it's it's really kind of cool I mean sure I'm gonna want privacy but I mean like how much privacy do I fucking need really I'm not gonna have my bird out all fucking day you know maybe for part of the day but you know but I'm gonna get um like uh, reflective um, fucking insulation shit that I can stick inside these windows and um, so that when the sun comes in it doesn't get so fucking hot I got these back windows open I'm probably just going to fucking leave them open because what's the big deal and it creates ventilation I can crack the front windows as well to get a fucking cross breeze going um, but yeah I'm going to blot the windows out I'll have like the you know those fucking things, those p things you put on your window that, that reflects the heat away, so you know those reflective dooberies or whatever? 
I'll get one and I'll put it in the back there. Or maybe I'll just kind of, maybe I'll rig a curtain up. Just like I'm going to do in the front. I'm going to have a curtain that separates the driver's seats from the back here. So I can close that and uh, the back is completely enclosed. And then when you look in the rig, say somebody looks in the front window there, uh, they don't see the back. You know, they don't see me back here sleeping or my shit or whatever. But the fact of the matter is, is I'm going to be in the fucking thing for a lot of the time. I mean, or when I'm in it, I'm going to be sleeping or on the fucking computer or shit like that. And, uh, you know, I can always drive it anywhere and fucking get out and sit outside and whatever and do other shit. I, I don't even know. You know, this is the thing. Like, living the fucking grub life is going to be... It's gonna be a trip like uh, literally like uh, it's a fucking adventure I don't even know what it entails like how how anything's gonna work but the whole fact of the matter is is that <laughs> I'm 46 years old and I'm fucking embarking on a, a fucking life adventure that uh, you know most 46 year olds don't say to themselves I'm giving up all my fucking worldly possessions and living in a van you know and it's it's every time I think about it and you know when I was sitting in here earlier I was just like this is so fucking cool like sure it's gonna have its moments where I'm fucking freezing my ghoulies off in the winter or you know in the summer I'm like holy shit it's hot in this fucking truck what am I gonna do but I mean that's the whole thing like it's it's an adventure I'm not here to fucking you know I'm not this isn't because I think it would be cool I'm doing it for the money I'm doing it to earn fucking money to get out of the fucking rad race that's it you know once once I have sufficient funds I can drive away and do something different but for now this is the fucking solution that I have come up with what's going on out there um, but yeah it's just it, it, the whole thing about it is like shit this is an adventure everything about it is an adventure every time I fucking come out and sit in the truck it sinks in a little bit more and uh, It's like I said, there's going to be challenges, but what the fuck, dude? If you're if you're sitting there at however old you are, and there's no more challenges in your fucking life, I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe that's how you want to live. Maybe status quo is sometimes uh, a happy place to be, but you know, status quo for me is fucking living paycheck to paycheck, and that shit ain't gonna happen anymore. So yeah, little update here on fucking being in the back of a, of a van. Uh, I'll, I'll give you the grand tour. I actually brought the tripod out here, so um, yeah. Uh, okay, well there's this. No, hold on, let me take it off the thing. kind of dirty because I've been tracking fucking leaves in and out of it and shit like that. Um, oof. Yeah, so, the, you know, there's the, there's where I, there's the driving part. Uh, like I said, these things are, I know there was kids in the car because there's like fucking stickers and shit and like candy stuck in the fucking slots there where I took the seats out. But yeah, like I said, it's five feet across that way. And uh, like I said, here's the old fucking, you know, keep my fucking cell phone in there. The bed will be along uh, this, which uh, it'll be along that side over there. Because it's better that I use this door over here on the um, left side of the vehicle to get it in and out. Because this side will be, could be into traffic and I don't really want to use that side. So I'll put the bed over here. Am I zoomed in? No. Put the bed over on this side and have some kind of a, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but like I said, I want the bed to be above the, above the ground so that I can, uh, 
so that I can fucking have storage underneath it. And uh, I'm going to put like, get some kind of a fucking carpet and padding on here so I don't feel these plastic fucking things underneath the, underneath the like carpet and shit. Like I don't want to be like kneeling down on fucking hard plastic or whatever, like whatever I'm doing. But yeah, like it's, this is it, bud. And like I said, when you, when you fucking, when this is your view, the world is technically your fucking oyster. So yeah, that's about it. Just another update. Is it an update or is this an actual video? It's not an update. This is progress. Do you see me? Am I in the light? Am I in the light? There we go. Yeah, so fuck it. This has been Grub Gun, fucking showing you the van without any seats in it. Hope you're happy. Bastards. Um, yeah, soon to come, I'll be getting a bed and shit for this thing, and I'll film that as well. Stay tuned for more Grub Life. Grub Gun signing out. Fuck this stupid thing. Grub Gun signing out.